In this lesson, we'll cover how to set up the Envy output resolution, ACR transfer function, and gamut settings for optimal performance. We discussed these settings in previous lessons on setting up your display. If you haven't already reviewed those lessons, please do so before proceeding. First, let's cover the output resolution setting found in the display configuration menu. Under most circumstances, you can just leave this in the auto setting. The Envy will then pick the best output resolution based on the display. However, we're here to talk about optimal setup, so let's dig in further. For flat panel and video walls, the Envy output resolution should usually be set at 3840 by 2160, unless it's an 8K display. In that case, choose the 8K option in the Envy. This way, the Envy will use AI to provide the best quality upscaling to 8K. Note that your display might require a particular HDMI input and enabling a special option in its settings to support 8K input. For projector-based systems, if you're using a scope screen and your display uses a native 4096 by 2160 chip, you can get some additional brightness by choosing the 4096 output resolution in the Envy. Some projectors like the newer JVC models, the Barco DCI projectors, and the Sony GTZ380 have a native 4096 by 2160 panel. Others, like the Sony 5000, 6000, and 7000, use a 3840 by 2160 panel. Barco CinemaScope projectors, on the other hand, have a 5120 by 2160 panel. Therefore, you can garner more performance by setting the MB resolution to 5120 option instead of 3840. To use this resolution, however, you'll need to override the output EDID in the Envy. See the lesson on setting up the Barco projectors for more information. Overall, if you're not sure what your display's native resolution is, please check the previous lessons on display setup or contact the display manufacturer. As mentioned, you can usually just use auto and get up and running pretty quickly. Now, before moving on, the measured peak luminance setting in this menu, please take a note of that. It's essential to set this value as we already covered in our lesson on how to measure peak luminance. If you're using a 16 by 9 screen, you can measure and set this value now. However, if you have a scope screen, you first need to complete the screen configuration setup before doing so. We'll cover screen configuration setup in an upcoming lesson. Okay, now let's set the HDR transfer function and the gamut option both available on the display calibration menu. These next steps assume you're not planning to perform a calibration with a 3D LUT. If you are, you can skip setting these options since the calibration will be in control instead. For the HDR transfer function, we need to set this value to the gamma of your display. For instance, if your display is using a 2.4 gamma, the transfer function should be set here to 2.4. Likewise, if your display is using a gamma of 2.2, use that value instead. In some cases, the gamma of your display may measure differently than the gamma value used in its settings. For instance, on Sony projectors, you will likely need to set the gamma value in the projector settings to 2.6 to achieve a 2.4 gamma. In that case, you would set the gamma in the Sony to 2.6 and the transfer function in the Envy to 2.4 since that's the effective gamma you'll get with a 2.6 setting. In any event, to ensure optimal contrast and HDR processing, it's essential that the transfer function in the MV matches the effective gamma used by the display if you're not performing a calibration. If you're unsure, we recommend having the display professionally calibrated with the MV, which removes any doubt and will yield optimal results. The last option we'll cover in this lesson is a gamut setting. Leaving this in auto usually works fine just as long as the display's gamut or color space setting is set to auto. However, there can be benefits in picture quality and streamlined use by setting the gamut in the Envy to DCI-P3 or BT-2020. In such cases, the display needs to be set to the same gamut instead of auto. For instance, if you set the Envy and the display to DCI-P3, when the Envy receives source material at BT-2020 for HDR, or BT709 for SDR, the Envy will convert it to DCI-P3 and output that to the display. In previous lessons on setting up the display, we covered recommended gamut settings based on the display. Please review those lessons for more information. If you're ever in doubt, 
Generally, it's a safe choice to set both the MV and the display gamut settings to BT2020. If you find that the colors look significantly overcooked or undersaturated, it's likely a mismatch between the MV's gamut setting and the display's gamut setting. Well, now that we know how to set up the essential MV output settings, it's time to move on to our next lesson.